Hello friends, welcome to the Engineering Academy and in this video I'll be talking about the soft story and we'll talk about the soft story collapse mechanism and how to overcome it. Just now you have seen a clip of this building where you can see that you got the brick wall on the upper floors and you got open frames in the ground floor right so you don't have any partition walls in the ground floor right okay so uh, now let's talk about this thing and I'll give you an example right so uh, let us draw a simple framed structure and so this is your ground okay so uh, let's assume that you got a building over here so this is your building these are the columns and these are the beams so these okay so let's assume three story building okay uh, what happens is that whenever there is earthquake load p acting in this direction and let us assume that we don't have any infill walls right now so that is the partition walls we don't have right now and it's just the bare frame okay all right so uh, in this situation whenever there is the earthquake load so uh, the columns deflect like this right so I'll use a different color so let's use the red color okay so deflect like this right so this is the deflection of these columns okay now let us again draw the frame let's change the color okay so this is your ground and this is your frame right and so I'm drawing the same building okay now let us assume that this building has got the infill walls so you got a brick wall over here and also a brick wall over here right so when the earthquake load P acts in this direction so earthquake load P acts here like this so what happens is that these two floors they act as a block and they don't undergo much deflection because due to the presence of the infill walls the stiffness of the floors have increased so in this situation what happens is that the upper columns so they undergo a little little little, little deflection okay it's so not even much so very much less deflection right and the ground floor columns they undergo a lot of deflections like this right and the earthquake load is acting like this p and if these columns are not strong to take this much of deflection or you can say the displacement in that situation the columns will collapse okay so if the columns will collapse the entire building will fall down right this is story that doesn't have infill walls due to which it is relatively flexible as compared to the other floors is called as the soft story okay so now you understand what the soft story is right okay so these columns are much more flexible as compared to the other columns and due to which they undergo much more displacement as compared to the other columns and if those columns are not weak they will definitely collapse this mechanism is called as the soft story collapse mechanism a soft story doesn't have to be necessarily in the ground floor it can be in the first floor as well because if you have an infill wall here and infill wall here and no infill walls in this region in that situation also this floor will act as the soft story all right so how to overcome this soft story problem the first thing is that the designer must avoid to have the soft story it means that they should design such that they have got infill walls in every floor right if the architectural requirement and need to have the openness in the ground floor in that situation what the structural designer have to do is so he has to first do the structural analysis using etaps or you know sap 2000 okay so if you want to learn this software i have got tutorials on udemy you can always find there or you can always ask me questions related to them right or you got stat pro and many more right these are famous uh, structural analysis and design softwares right so whenever he does the structural analysis of this building so he'll get the movement values m and v values and axial force values right so suppose that he got some values uh, from the software 
now what he has to do is that he has to multiply these values with a factor of 2.5 so this factor is as per is 1893 93 2002 2002 so you can uh, you can get this factor from here right okay so he has to multiply these values with this factor and design the columns with the moment or the force values obtained after multiplying with 2.5 right he has to do the manual design you cannot accept the design from the software right so what this will do is that it will give the bigger sections of the column and hence they can resist the higher force or they can be more stiff so that they can resist the higher force of the earthquake that acts on them right all right so this is how you overcome the soft story problem in the buildings i hope this video was helpful this was for this video hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and take care